The best drop spots in Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix is what we're going over in today's video. There's a total of six of them, and I'm going to be showing you them in live games to show you how well you can do off spawn landing here. And I forget the dub, I'll show you the winning clip of that or any good kills in between. Starting off at drop number six is Slurpy Swamp. Now, this is an absolutely goaded drop spot on the map, and that is because there is not only a total of four Slurp trucks that spawn here, each of them giving you a hundred shield. The last one's out there. I don't know if I can hit my marker on it. It also has these two big barrels here as well. They give you 50 shield each and a bunch of little barrels here as well. These big barrels, if you break both of them, you'll have full shield. I recommend going for the slurp truck. However, they have vaulted the technique of backing a semi truck into the slurp truck. So this used to be a technique way back in the day. We could just jump on a truck like this, reverse it, and then it'll instantly break. If you jump out though, while you're in the middle of the slurp truck, it will instantly break. If you just reverse it like normal, you don't jump out of it, it won't break. Now, these barrels here, there's a total of 130 of them. That's 1,300 shield. Combine that with the slurp barrels and then the two big barrels at the front, that's near 2,000 shield at this single location. On top of this as well, there's a bunch of floor loot spawns. As you've seen, all my loot I've gone so far is floor loot spawns and 32 chests. Seven car spawns and there's also an upgrade station. I'll show you right before I push these people, which is in the the basement of this building here. Nope, you gotta wake up earlier in the morning to take me out. My one HP and a dream is always better than you. You know what? Just because we're here, get this slow trucks. Get our full shield up. Now, if you do play build mode of Fortnite, there is a bunch of brick around this area with all of the walls. The fences, though, are the best part about this location for build mode because you can get a ton of metal from these, including the shipping containers as well. Now, if you choose to and you feel like you have enough time, there is a bunch of car spawns here. What you want to do with one of these car spawns is then rotate towards the rig to take out Teen Tina for her bow. Now, my opinion, Teen is the third best drop spot but i'll go into this drop quickly here so do note it's not perfectly in order that's just based on spawns in the game because it is worthwhile going here if no one has taken her out yet or if you got the extra time you got some pretty good loot at the rig there is a helicopter here and on top of this specific building that i'm at right now just off to the side so if you do take out teen tina the fastest way to rotate out is via that helicopter and she does normally spawn in this back area here. And like all of the bosses this season, what you want to do is just absolutely spam headshots on them. They're pretty easy to take out, especially in solo mode because they have less health. When you take out the bosses, there is actually a delay for picking up their items, which is really annoying. And they will do an emote here as well, which makes it hard to pick up items that are near their feet. Now, I typically drop my shield after taking out a boss, purely for the fact that you can loot the vault and get plenty of shield down there. Now, when I like to fight Tina, and Tina, I like to typically land on this section here. I'm gonna show you real quick before I loot the vault which is right up here. Shooting down from here and having a bird's eye view of where everyone's at means that you're less likely to get third party. Now this vault can be a little bit hard to find, but if you follow the stairwell on the side there, like I just showed you, it's pretty easy to get down. And you can take the toilet here to get out faster, but the helicopter is going to have me in zone less based on the way that the zone's pulling right now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of storm damage before getting out of here. Now I haven't warmed up today and this is my first game of Fortnite. And to be honest, this season has been a little bit sweaty, so if I am able to pull off a win here, that'd be pretty nice. But as you can see, that drop spot was pretty good. Got a bunch of shield, and even if I landed Teen Tina's, if I got some good guns and took her out, I would've got full shield from her or the vault anyway, as long as I didn't get third party. Which is why you want to land an advantage point. It makes it a lot harder to get third party. Moving in to the rig, we have four rare chests that spawn here, a total of three locked henchman chests, and a total of two unlocked henchman chests. Remember, these henchman chests are the same as rare chests. It's a really good spot to land for all of that loot. In terms of total chests here, we have 37. What? Bro, what are you doing? Nope. 
No! <laughs> 22 HP, GG's. <laughs> Moving into drop number five here is Spaghetti Grotto. There is specific locations you want to land at Spaghetti Grotto. The reason we didn't mention any for Slurpy Swamp is because they're all pretty good. As long as you can get a gun from Floor Loot and 100 shield off the rip, you're pretty much all set. Now, there's two drop spots that are the best for landing at Spaghetti Grotto. Number one is if you have a really far bus line, landing on the zip line, getting a gun, and then shooting down at people is one of the best ways to go, especially if you're coming from the Pleasant Park side, landing on this zip line. Do note, people will try to slide kick you off, and on top of this as well, if you jump off the zip line, you will have fall damage immunity. This bin is a secret entrance you can take from there, but my favorite drop spot landing at Spaghetti Grotto is this building on the side here. It has a possible floor loot spawn on the roof here, a possible chest spawn that spawns here, which isn't here, another possible floor loot spawn, which only gave me ammo that time around, and a ghost chest from inside this building. You do need to get into a disguise in order to open this chest or eliminate a ghost agent and carry them here, but going through the little booth there is the easiest method. There's a possible floor loot spawn, and then you wanna to rotate towards Eminem ASAP because people have been taking him out super fast at the moment. Now, the best way to do this from this location, in my opinion, is jumping down here, but not jumping directly down onto any of the platforms, just jumping down like I have there and then pushing in. It looks like Eminem's about to be taken out here. Now you wanna run in as fast as possible to third party this. Oh, someone's already taken him out actually. I didn't notice that. I thought I was going into third party to do that last little bit of damage. Turns out, nope. So we're going for a third party here. Now this happens quite often because it is pretty easy to take out the boss this season. And that was a pretty good third party there because I heard someone just get taken out. So I knew that whoever was just fighting that person is gonna be low because they just had the minigun. So now that we have the minigun, we can loot the vault. Now this vault is pretty hard to actually loot because it's really, really open to third parties here. So you wanna be not only super fast pushing in, but super cautious as well. Now you can shut down these turrets. I reckon it's not worthwhile. You want that extra layer of security before someone pushes you. And if you do get C4, lacing up the door is a really good option here. Every time I loot here, I like to face the south side of the map. So I'm looking towards the door so I can see if anyone's about to push in. I think I'm gonna keep the attack this time around since we have the minigun and it takes a while to start up. If you wanna be a little bit cheeky here and make it harder for people to get loot, you can walk all the way back here holding a gun on the railing and then drop the guns up there. No snipers about, so I am gonna pick up a pistol as my long range gun. And then I'm gonna to head towards the east side of this building, heading upwards, typically mantling, and taking the helicopter out once more. Now from this location, if no one's taken out Meowdus at the yacht, you can push towards Meowdus and get potentially another mythic. But normally Meowdus does get taken out really, really quick here. So once again, I'll show you some highlights if I get some good clips. If we get a win, I'll show you that too, or if we get second place at least. Now, if you guys ever want to see me really use the minigun here, I have posted a minigun only challenge on the channel, and I definitely think that's worthwhile checking out. If you want to see a cool win. Pistol's definitely underrated this season. Now, the reason I put Spaghetti Grotto as drop number five and not higher in this list is because it gets pretty heavily contested. It's really easy to get third partied in that location based on the layout of it. And in my opinion, this season, the minigun's not really it for best loadouts. It's a great item, but there's a lot better items that you can use in order to counter people or deal massive amounts of damage. Pistol gang! Pistol OP. Now the hardest part about landing Spaghetti Grotto, there is only a total of 32 chests that can spawn there. Now you do have four henchmen chests that you can unlock from that area, which aren't locked. And then a total of the henchmen chests that are locked is 10. Now henchmen chests are the same as rare chests. So it's super worthwhile trying to get as many of these as possible. Now this is the reason why it's one of the best drops on the map. Not only the mythic is because of the chest situation. What? All right, I guess the second place is all round tonight. <laughs> Another good game. Unfortunately, I missed those easy minigun shots, 16 kills. Second place, the drop works though. You got, you got to commend it. The fourth best drop spot on the remix map. Do note, 
fourth best doesn't mean it's bad at all. It literally means it's better than every other location I haven't even bothered to mention in this video is the dog pound. Now this is a bit controversial. Some people think this is the best spot to land because they think Snoop Dogg's drum gun is one of the best items on the map, just like M&M's minigun. But due to the way that this location is laid out, how easy it is for people to rotate in, people can attack from any direction, how easy it is to get third party here. This is why it is number four on this list. It is easy to win the other drops and this is best drop spots. This means surviving off spawn, having good loot. Now I recommend landing on the floor loot on either of the top sides here and then mantling up towards the chest and checking if anyone else lands top side near you, like this person here. Now there is a lot of henchmen around this area and I do recommend going in disguise if you can to open up the spare henchmen chests that are here. And in order to not get confused by footsteps you see around the map, I do recommend just taking out the henchmen at earliest convenience. Now Snoop Dogg's compound has a total of 54 chests, two unlocked henchmen chests, a total of four locked henchmen chests, and three rare chests. There's a whole bunch of ammo here with 17 ammo boxes, a helicopter, a bunch of cars, and a bunch of heels, with 10 slope barrels being in this location. Remember, taking out the boss fastest is sometimes your best option here, as the boss will then end up on your team, and having an NPC on your team is super beneficial most of the time. This vault, I actually recommend not looting. If you've got a pretty good shotgun, I don't think it's worth it, especially based on the fact how easy it is to get third partied at this vault. It's just like a big open door area. People camp it out a lot. But if you've got pretty good heals, you've got pretty good health, especially a bunch of nades and a grappler if you're playing zero build, or even boogie bombs, boogie bombs would be your best bet. I think it's worthwhile pushing. Now we didn't get a grappler or assault rifle here, but we've got a sniper and a couple RPGs, so we'll just take the sniper and dip. Now I recommend getting a vehicle when you can and making sure you bound your vehicle brake button, the scroll wheel, so you can do stuff like this. And then maybe hit a cool snipe. <laughs> Bro, that was crazy. I don't think so, Ruthless. RPG grappler technique, not in this house. Bro, you ain't never seen anything like me before. <laughs> you better watch out if I'm in your lobby. <laughs> you wanna snipe at me? Yeah, you can get wins <laughs> if you land at the dog compound. Moving into location three, as we previously discussed, the rig. Now the second best drop location is Meowdus' yacht. There's two drop spots here that are superior to every other drop spot. Number one is the silo here. If you have a far drop that is super, super far away and the silo is in between you and the yacht, what you wanna do is land at the top of it rather than landing directly on the boat. Now this is a gamble and it's worked out for me every single time so far because it does catch people off guard. But what you wanna do is land on the top of the silo here like this, then you wanna just redeploy downwards. Typically there is loot that spawns here or a chest, 
On the other silo, I've been having more luck. Now we were unlucky on that one, so that's why the gamble is a gamble, but I'll show you this one quickly, because this was a far drop, so I don't think many people are going to be coming here. If you land on the backside one, this one's more likely to have a chest. What you want to do is take any shield if there is shield here. So typically I land on this one, but I thought I'd check this one out for the first time ever. Then you want to go up. You want to redeploy as early as possible. This takes you as high as possible. And then you want to land top side of the yacht. Now, if you don't have a far drop and you're landing directly at the yacht, what you want to do is land on the top side here. Remember, high ground is key in Battle Royale. Now remember to give it a few seconds after the boss drops before going for the item as they will be in the way doing an emote. And I've always find the yacht to be the most annoying one to loot because the zone typically comes in this era ASAP. Now there is a helicopter at the front and there's also a toilet that teleports you out of here which I'll show you shortly. The yacht has a total of 22 chests, four unlocked henchman chests which are in the vault, two locked henchman chests that are outside of the vault, one rare chest in the vault and a total of 28 ammo boxes. Now the reason this is number two is because in my opinion this is the easiest drop to win out of all of them. Plenty of good loot here, plenty of shield and if you land topside this is pretty hard to lose. Just like that. I've got pretty good loot. I'm going to take the toilet here. Now after you take the toilet there's two routes you're on to rotate to. You want to either rotate to the stacks there and just go up in the air or you want to rotate down this zip line and take one of these perma rifts. If you're not aware in zero build, so this is zero build only, these rifts are all around the outskirts of the map, so it's easier to traverse. It looks like every other mythic boss has been taken, so I think it's about time that I show you the number one best drop spot. I can show you during this game and that will explain shortly, but more on that when we get to the location. And the number one best drop spot for the best loot in the game is the shark. Now the shark is not here yet. It will be dropping this Thursday night if you're from Australia, this Thursday morning if you're from South or North America, or this Thursday midday if you're from Europe. If you're from Asia, it depends what region of Asia you're from, but it'll be middle of the day or nighttime for you. Now the reason that the shark is the best drop spot this season is from the mythics that you get from this location. From taking out Ice Spice, not only will she you join your team, you get the mythic Icy Grappler, which gives you icy feet, making it faster for you to traverse, also infinite movement, a little bit harder to control yourself. But you also get Ice Spice's Assault Rifle, which is her version of the Scar. Now this is going to be the best gun in the game this season. It was the best gun in the game during Chapter 2, so I'm really looking forward to its return. Now this was the drop off the yacht because Ice Spice is not yet in the game. So let's see if we can clutch this out with a win. I don't lose those. Boogie, no boogie bombing. I miss a pump shot, I clutch up. Teamers. They're teaming. Well, unfortunately, we lost that game to two teamers, but they cover it. Those are the six best drop spots during Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix. If they weren't teaming, definitely would have won that game. I thought it was someone's NPC. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Catch you on the flip side. Bye.